Have you ever wondered where the most haunted places in the United States are? Haunted places, shrouded in mystery and intrigue, have long captivated the minds of the curious. These locations, often steeped in history and tales of past inhabitants, are said to be the dwelling places of spirits and entities from beyond our realm. It's not just about the spine-chilling tales, but the rich narratives of these sites that make them so irresistibly eerie. From decommissioned penitentiaries to historic mansions, each place has its own unique story to tell, a story that seems to resonate within its very walls, echoing the whispers of the past. And while the idea of the supernatural may elicit skepticism, there's no denying the allure these haunted locations possess. So whether you're a seasoned ghost hunter or just a lover of spooky tales, these places are sure to pique your interest. Let's dive into our countdown of the top 10 most haunted places in the United States. Starting our countdown at number 10 is the Eastern State Penitentiary in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This imposing fortress-like structure was not just any prison. It operated from 1829 to 1971, housing some of America's most notorious criminals. Today it stands as a museum, but its eerie atmosphere goes beyond the mere artifacts. Visitors and staff alike have reported unexplained phenomena suggestive of the paranormal. Imagine hearing mysterious sounds echoing down the empty corridors, perhaps the residual whispers of the inmates who once resided here. Ghostly apparitions have also been sighted, seemingly trapped within the confines of this formidable institution. Could it be that these are the spirits of former inmates, unable to find peace in the afterlife? Or perhaps they're echoes of the past, forever imprinted on the fabric of the penitentiary? As we delve deeper into our countdown, one thing remains certain, the Eastern State Penitentiary continues to haunt those who dare to step into its chilling past. Could these be the spirits of former inmates, still trapped within these cold stone walls? At number nine, we have the Stanley Hotel, located in Estes Park, Colorado. This grand old hotel is steeped in history and has a special place in the annals of horror literature. It served as the eerie inspiration for Stephen King's spine-chilling novel, The Shining. King's unsettling stay in room 217 led to the creation of this masterpiece, and ever since the hotel has been a magnet for paranormal enthusiasts. Guests and staff alike have reported a variety of paranormal experiences, from sightings of spectral figures to unexplained phenomena. But it's not just any spirits that are said to roam these halls. Freelan O. Stanley, the hotel's original owner and his wife Flora, have been spotted on several occasions, still seemingly residing in their beloved hotel. It's enough to send shivers down anyone's spine. The question remains, are these simply stories or is there something more at play here? Number eight on our list takes us to the deep south to the Myrtles Plantation in St. Francisville, Louisiana. Steeped in history and shrouded in mystery, the Myrtles Plantation is a site of intrigue and alleged paranormal activity. Dating back to 1796, this plantation has witnessed the ebb and flow of time and with it a host of stirring tales. The most notable of these centers around Chloe, a former slave. Legend has it, Chloe was caught eavesdropping on her owners and as punishment had her ear cut off. In a vengeful act, she supposedly poisoned a birthday cake, causing the death of her owner's wife and two daughters. Today, visitors report sightings of a ghostly woman wearing a turban believed to be Chloe wandering the plantation grounds. Unexplained footsteps, whispers in the wind, and ghostly apparitions have all contributed to the plantation's haunting reputation. Could the tragic past of this plantation be echoing into the present? Coming in at number seven is the Queen Mary, now docked permanently in Long Beach, California. This majestic ocean liner, once a symbol of luxury and transatlantic travel, is now reputed to be a dwelling place for the supernatural. Over her service life, the Queen Mary witnessed births, deaths, and even war service, carrying an array of stories within her steel hull. Since her retirement, she's been repurposed as a hotel, a setting that has welcomed countless tales of ghostly encounters. Stories abound of spectral figures wandering corridors, phantom sounds of children playing, and eerie cries echoing from the depths of the ship. Visitors often report the apparitions of former crew members and passengers, some of whom met their untimely end aboard this grand vessel. The Queen Mary, a place where history and mystery intertwine, invites you to ponder the question. Is it the echoes of the past or something more that haunts this retired ocean liner? 
At number six, we venture into the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum, located in western West Virginia. This imposing structure opened its doors in 1864 and for 130 years, it bore witness to the ebb and flow of human emotions. The asylum was built with the noblest of intentions, offering solace to the mentally ill. Yet, its history is tinged with stories of overcrowding, questionable treatments and untimely deaths. Today, the asylum stands as a chilling testament to its past, attracting visitors from around the world. Many have reported encounters with the spectral remnants of its former patients and staff. Phantom footsteps echo in the empty corridors, disembodied voices whisper in the stillness and shadowy figures flit across the periphery of vision. These unsettling experiences lend credence to the belief that the asylum is a hotbed of paranormal activity. Could the troubled spirits of its former inhabitants still roam these halls? Halfway through our countdown at number five is the Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. This peculiar mansion is a labyrinth of rooms and corridors, a testament to the eccentric mind of its creator, Sarah Winchester. Widow of the Winchester rifle heir, Sarah was plagued by the notion that she was haunted by the spirits of those killed by Winchester rifles. In an attempt to evade these spectres, she continuously constructed and modified the house, leading to its bewildering architecture. This mansion boasts a staggering 160 rooms, including 40 bedrooms, two ballrooms, and even secret passages. Staircases leading to ceilings, doors opening to walls, windows overlooking other rooms, all contribute to the house's uncanny layout. Many believe these oddities were intended to confuse and ward off the restless spirits. Is this house a testament to one woman's fear or a beacon for the supernatural? Number four brings us to the Lemp Mansion in St. Louis, Missouri. Once the palatial home of the wealthy Lemp family, this mansion is now shrouded in a veil of mystery and melancholy. The family who made their fortune in the brewing industry was plagued by a string of tragedies, including several suicides. The mansion, now a restaurant and inn, is said to be haunted by the tormented spirits of the Lemp family. Guests and staff report an array of paranormal happenings. Apparitions appearing in period clothing, phantom footsteps echoing down the hallways, and inexplicable cold spots are just a few of the chilling encounters shared by those who've dared to spend a night. Could it be that the sorrow and despair of this family still linger in the mansion's walls? Or is it merely the power of suggestion, fueled by the tragic history of this grand old house? Either way, the Lemp Mansion holds a firm spot on our list of America's most haunted locations. The Bronze Medal of Haunted Locations goes to the Bell Witch Cave in Adams, Tennessee. Nestled in the heart of Adams, this ominous cave is linked with the chilling legend of the Bell Witch. According to lore, the Bell family was tormented by an unseen force in the early 1800s. This malevolent entity was said to physically harm and even speak to the family, a tale that has fueled nightmares for centuries. Visitors to the Bell Witch Cave today recount chilling experiences that lend credence to the legend. Reports of disembodied voices echo from the cave's depths, while others speak of feeling unexpected cold spots, a common sign of paranormal activity. Some even claim to have witnessed objects moving of their own accord, a terrifying reminder of the poltergeist activity reported by the Bell family. So, is the Bell Witch Cave truly cursed? Or is it all just a legend? One thing's for sure, it's a haunting experience that's not for the faint of heart. Our runner-up at number two is the Whaley House in San Diego, California. Built in the mid-19th century by Thomas Whaley, this historic house is more than just an architectural marvel. It's a hotspot for the supernatural. Many believe that the spirits of the Whaley family, Thomas, his wife Anna, and their children, are still inhabiting their family home, making their presence known through apparitions and unexplained phenomena. Visitors often recount chilling experiences, from spotting spectral figures in 19th century clothing to hearing phantom footsteps echoing through the halls. The most frequently seen apparition is that of Anna Whaley, whose ghost is said to linger in the garden or the downstairs room. Some guests have even claimed to smell the scent of her perfume, but the Whaley's aren't the only spirits said to haunt this place. 
Other spectral figures have been reported, making the Whaley House a melting pot of paranormal activity. Are the Whaleys still lingering in their family home? And finally, our number one most haunted place in the United States is the Villisca Axe Murder House in Villisca, Iowa. This house is the setting of a chilling unsolved murder mystery that has intrigued and terrified the public for over a century. In the early hours of June 10th, 1912, eight people, including six innocent children, met their horrific end, bludgeoned to death by an axe. This gruesome event has left an indelible mark on the house. Visitors report experiencing unsettling phenomena, which some attribute to the restless spirits of the victims. The disembodied whispers, the sound of children's laughter turning suddenly into cries, and apparitions appearing in the dark corners of the rooms, these experiences are just a few that have been shared by those who've dared to step inside. Could the victims of this horrific event still be seeking justice from beyond the grave? The Villisca Axe Murder House continues to stand as an eerie testament to this unsolved mystery, attracting the brave and the curious from around the world. And there you have it, the top 10 most haunted places in the United States. From the chilling walls of the Eastern State Penitentiary to the eerie corridors of the Stanley Hotel. From the ghostly whispers at the Myrtle's Plantation to the spectral sailors aboard the Queen Mary. From the unsettling encounters in the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum to the mysterious Winchester Mystery House. From the tragic tales of the Lemp Mansion to the unnerving Bell Witch Cave. From the haunting presence in the Whaley House to our number one spot, the Villisca Axe Murder House, where a gruesome, unsolved murder has left a chilling aura that visitors claim to experience even today. These locations have witnessed tragedies, held secrets and encapsulate stories that transcend the ordinary. Remember, these places are more than just spooky tourist attractions. They are sites of real tragedies and their stories deserve to be treated with respect. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.